The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Get involved with Access Fort Wayne and make your own television programming. Call 421-1250 to find out more.
Jersey Pro, everyone.
church house band we get the chance to play every Sunday and we love it because somehow every week Sundays keep coming and we love gathering and singing praises to God and celebrating how good he is like we just sang no matter what we're going through in life no matter how hard life is we can always rely on the goodness of God and so thanks for joining us tonight um, everybody still doing good everybody still eating fair food I see, it's that Philly cheesesteak right there. Bears fan, is that a Philly cheesesteak? I had, yes, I had one yesterday. Fantastic, thumbs up? All right, uh, over here, ice cream, what is that? The 16 inch cheese sandwich, thumbs up. Excellent. Anybody try anything brand new this year at the It was a
Fall! 
Jesus is holy and matchless in glory. He's worthy, he's worthy of highest praise. song. So appreciative of that.
God is able to save and deliver and heal and restore anything that he wants to. Just ask the man who was thrown on the bones of Elijah. He bears anything that he can't do. Just ask the stone that was rolled at the tomb in the garden. What happens when God says to move?
this country is we're going to get. I apologize. Thankful that y'all came out tonight and hope you're having a good time. Hope your stomachs are full and your hearts are full as well. Put that on a t-shirt. That'd be Grable Country Fair slogan for next year. May your hearts be as full as your stomachs. Uh, this is Jayla, everybody. Welcome, Jayla. Sing of the goodness of God. 
They're giving them ribbons, I hear. That's harder than it looks, isn't it? They are, they are heroes, because we're not out there doing this. Just them. They are our heroes. Magic Jerry here. I have Mike with me. We can tell him what your position is as a weather consultant here in this Well, so that's really good. He asked me about that because tonight I'm actually singing as a baritone. Oh, okay. That has nothing to do with weather. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I did forecast this. So look at this weather that we brought for yeah. the Grave Affair. Yeah. Pretty good. Hey, so what I do at the weather service is um, my job is to work with uh, emergency managers, police, fire, law, and also like communities like Grable, they can actually ask us for support. So if we had, if they had weather concern, there's a lot of people here, not a lot of sh safety like sheltering and stuff. If they wanted, we could actually provide support for them as well for weather, watching the weather and making tell, sure they stay tell safe. Tell them the, how important is it to actually have your own weather radio? Oh, well, you know, that's the other thing, too. So one of the things we re re request of all of the people that are going to be doing any kind of a program, we actually ask that they have a weather radio. Um, one of the easiest things you can get, it's, it's like a, the big thing is you can program it to monitor when we're issuing watches and warnings from the National Weather Service, you can set it up to monitor for that um, specific area. Yeah. So you don't going to get it for everybody, you're going to get it for your specific county. So we're really trying to get folks to use those as much as they can. You know, having a phone is important. Having a weather radio should be just as important. Well, if something's coming like a tornado, you ought to know. Well, you got to know it, yeah. and you and you got to know it before it hits. Yes. So, yeah. I was just saying to Wesley, we were up in Hillsdale County uh, on Thursday because they had a tornado up there. A strong thunderstorm. We had we had thunderstorm warnings out. But you know, it takes a thunderstorm to produce a tornado, so you should never dismiss the intensity of a thunderstorm. The potential's always there that it could get worse. I got a question too. Yeah. I went on, I don't know if this is too, but now they said with some of the say a thunderstorm warning, they will start sending signals to the phones now. Yes, so that's been the other big update. So if we have a severe thunderstorm warning that reaches a high enough intensity of, of over 80 mile an hour winds, or large hail, 
about the size of a baseball. We can actually set it up so that it will set off your cell phone. So if you have a cell phone, uh, you have to have a phone that's smarter than you. Yeah. You know, but if you have one of these smartphones, actually, if we have a strong enough severe thunderstorm, you can actually set off your phone. And we're thinking, um, Is that we've like, heard, like the Amber Alert. The, it's a wireless emergency alert. And we found that, like, a tornado warning will do that. But we've heard from people that if you have a, a severe thunderstorm warning with 80 mile an hour winds and large hail, it can be just as devastating as any tornado. So yeah. we want to get people warned before it strikes. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. For hey, doing that for sunshine! Yeah. Woo yeah. Thank you. That was Wesley. Wesley, thank you. you know, I gotta get singing with these guys. Keep in touch. Let us know if we can do anything, and uh, we'd love to sing, and then we can talk some weather too. We will. Okay. Hi, kids. This is Mr. Sun from Wesley's Magical Playhouse. We're here at the National Weather Service in North Webster, Indiana. Here's our friend Michael Lewis to tell us how weather radios keep us safe. Our primary mission is to save lives, minimize loss. And, and really the best way to do that is to make people aware of when weather's bad. The National Weather Service operates NOAA Weather Radio. The NOAA Weather Radio is designed to alert you when severe weather strikes. It's like a smoke detector for storms. When we issue a warning, the alarm goes off, you wake up, you check your weather, and you get to safety. What's your name? Karen Herman. I'm Karen. president of Grable Historical Society. Great. This museum is awesome. We have a lot of things here. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, a lot of it's about Grable. Isn't it? Yes. We have a good collection of Grable stuff and other outside interest stuff. Right. Now, how, what kind of famous people live in Grable? Well, Mark Sauter. Okay. Um, I just know the locals. I don't know okay. the real famous people. Mark Sauter, is he the one who's head of Sauter if you No. Sauter's furniture? No. Okay. Mark was a senator. Or oh, a senator. Okay. Representative. I don't even know what he was. Some oh. political person. I, I remember now. Maybe Sauter. representative. Uh, yeah. Very good. So, and is this open during the week? No. Okay. We don't have the manpower to keep it open. Okay. Just when there's something going on in town, then we open what, it. What are some of the things we should not miss going through this museum? Well, I don't know. Is Everything every is interesting. Yeah, very good. There, we have down in this cabinet is all our churches, our local churches. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I see. And these are, you know, changes through the years. Uh huh. Yep. Now this mailbox is the original Grable mailbox. This has some of the whole family names on it. Wow. It was up for auction in Ohio, mm -hmm. and someone. Went over there and bid on it and donated it back to us. Oh, that's really nice. Huh. And then over here is our Amish corner. Uh huh. Okay. Are they still wearing these colors today, or the day yeah, has it still changed? The, this is like their good Sunday clothes. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Everyday clothes are more pastel. Okay, like but the blue. They're, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. But they're all solid colors. They don't have any flowers gotcha. or stripes. Or gotcha. Okay. Do they still not have buttons? Yes, they still do not have buttons. So they use safety pins? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. And it looks like you have a ox. Oh, yeah. An ox. That thing's heavy. Oh, I imagine it would be. Oh, how, how the animals even pull. Well, I have to pick it up to put it on the animal. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. You wonder why it'd make it that heavy just to yeah, hold the animals in place, yeah. 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 Keep them going as a team, probably. Uh -huh. so. And this is Margaret Ringenberg. Oh, really? Famous flyer. She lived over in Leo. 
I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Her husband was, there's a letter up there from him, home from the war. Mm -hmm. He was at the bank. Oh, he still works at the bank? No, no. he was the one of the trustees or whatever. Mm -hmm. Over here we have, these are the pictures of the old buildings in Grable. We actually had quite a few big buildings. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything at all with automobiles here? Like a part, no. making parts or anything? Okay. I know you had, in Auburn it wasn't very far away, I thought. Yeah, no. Mostly the town of Grable was from the railroad stop uh -huh. and farmers. And a lot of Amish. Yes. Yep. a lot of Amish and Mennonites, right? Yes. The hmm. Amish are actually broken off from the Mennonites. Oh, People okay. think the Mennonites came off the Amish, but it's the other way around. Yeah. Because the the Amish broke away because the Mennonites were getting too modern. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I would have thought it would have been the uh, Amish first and the Mennonites yeah, wanted but no. to get more modern. Mm -hmm. okay. some stuff here. Mm -hmm. This is Leo's schools. Okay. Hey, Bev, you have a potato smasher like these? What? I said, hey, ask him, Bev, you have a potato smasher like these? Yeah. Do you? Mm-hmm. A lot still, of people still use them. Still yeah, use them I today. still use it. I mean, yeah. it's not just like that, but right. it's, yeah. when you're in a hurry and don't want to get the mixer out, I make my mashed potatoes that way. Yeah. More like the yellow one, except it's not yellow. Mm-hmm. Is that a special girl, that picture, or is just a little girl? No, I'm the wrong person. Oh, uh, that's okay. <laughs> I just thought, yeah. She's been here 15 minutes ago when Joanne Sauter was here. She knows uh -huh. all about it. I bet so. I bet so. Look at those. Oh, old. that's the old 48 place. Yeah. 48 star play there. Uh-huh. It came from the classroom of Burps. Stopey, he used to be the press or the principal over at Leo. Okay, and who do we have on the wall over here? These, These were the uh, bank boards. Okay. Would like to follow up the Greg Abner Greg Gary. Uh, he started the hardware. Okay. And his um, son still runs it. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to take him to that one. No problem. Listen, thank you so much for your help. We appreciate your information.